Hi everyone, my name is Katie and I work for howtobecome.com. Welcome to this video for the 11 plus. In this video I'm going to focus on the introduction to the 11 plus. So the 11 plus is an exam set by children in the last year of primary school. It's used to determine whether or not a child may gain entrance to a grammar school for their secondary education. The Butler Education Act of 1944 saw the, the introduction of the 11 plus examination. This act saw a reshuffle of the whole of the education system in the United Kingdom in post-war Britain. The aim was to make secondary education free for all and eliminate the existing inequalities. Following from this, secondary schools were consequently divided into three distinct types, grammar, secondary modern and technical schools. The 11 plus exam was hereafter used as a way of assessing students suitability for grammar schools and those who did not pass were allocated places at one of the two other types of secondary schools. Changes were made to the system in 1976 when the Labour government decided to give LEAs to so local education authorities the option to get rid of some grammar schools favouring comprehensives which treated all children equally regardless of natural academic ability. Following from this, some existing grammar schools became private grammars and many turned into comprehensives, which did not require the sitting of the 11 plus exam in order to gain entry. The number and the types of schools became varied in each local authority area. Today's picture is just as varied, with some areas of the UK still having a large number of selective grammar schools, with Kent, Medway, Buckinghamshire and Lincolnshire having the largest numbers, and other areas having more of a mix. So should your child take the 11 plus? Whether or not your child should take the 11 plus depends on a number of factors. Often your child's primary school will offer advice as to whether or not they believe it is a good idea based upon their proven abilities throughout their education so far. You should also take into account the schools that are available in your local area and weigh up which ones would suit your child best. You should not force your child to take the exam against advice just because they have nothing to lose. So that's it in this short video. To find out more information about the 11 plus including the disciplines of the 11 plus examination click on the next video in this playlist or you can find the next video on the how to become 11 plus resource page. Make sure that you subscribe to career vids to be notified about upcoming 11 plus resources and information. So that's it for me everyone. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the very best.